What happens when the very thing that drives you is taken away? It's a very real scenario for many veterans who were injured during their service. And for many, they have to overcome a new set of challenges in the new normal. Cardio 13 anchor Heather Scold introduces us to one veteran who's doing so with laughter and optimism and his children by his side. That's all in today's Military Family. I'm Jason. I I like spending time with my kids. Now that the introductions are official. So today we'll delve into an art activity. Jason and his son Marcus and daughter Mariana are ready to make an evening of their outing. Soften up some of this intersection. They're creating abstract works of art. But tonight it's less about the product and more about the process. Alien. You've got eyes. <laughs> and that, that laughter and connection is a mission accomplished. Yeah, I have, I have um, several injuries um, between explosions and I was combat armed, so it was kind of a given. It was all he wanted to be, a soldier. Jason Tubbs signed up for the Army when he was 17 and was eventually stationed at Fort Carson with the 3rd Armored Cavalry Regiment. The service came with great cost. He suffered brain injuries and nerve damage due to repeated blast exposure as a field artillery soldier. And another different kind of injury came during training. Um, I had a 109 howitzer, kind of like a, a tank. I put my hand on the ledge to squat down and the door broke and the door came and smashed my fingers off. The only job and passion that I had was now gone. That loss, he says, translated to how he related to his family. A normal person looks and says, oh, hey, don't forget to pick up your clothes, but I get mad or I get anxiety. Jason says he tried everything under the sun to help him. Therapists, psychiatrists, medication. He then got involved with Operation TBI Freedom, which is a program of the world-renowned Craig Hospital, which specializes in brain and spinal injuries. Learning a new hobby or a new activity is, is uh, it's, it stimulates neuroplasticity. Stephen Smith is the military program's coordinator for Operation TBI Freedom. He says it's common for those with traumatic brain injuries to self-isolate, so their program eases veterans and their families into activities they can do together. What we want to do is provide a safe place for veterans, service members, and their families to engage in activities. In doing so, we're able to normalize the consequences of traumatic brain injury and participants feel validated. For both Marcus and Mariana, it's helped them gain perspective and respect for their dad. Um, I know my dad to be a very loving and caring father. Specifically, he is very good at cooking. <laughs> Bonding for the whole family, even through life's imperfect moments. It's okay to be imperfect as long as you you know you find the good in the bad and you never give up i think is the way i would love for them to see me and all programs through operation tbi freedom are free thanks to generous donors and grants the military family on krdo is proudly sponsored by franklin d azar and associates